Hey you guys, what's up? I'm just sitting in here waiting for this generator bank to finish so it'll actually count. I've already made one last episode. You guys probably saw that. Watch. Here it comes. Chiggle bing. Yep. So you gotta sit in here and do that. Alright. Now we gotta place it. Okay, that's electrician class two of five. Ta da Craft a wire tool, craft an electrical relay, craft electrical wire relay. Okay, can we craft a wire tool or is it something we need to unlock? I have some forged here somewhere. Where did it go? Oh, I put it in my inventory. Um, wire tool. You don't know the recipe. Recipe. Wire tool. Okay. How about electrician? Elec. Electricity basics. Wire tool. Three points. Buy. Okay. Wire tool. Craft. Alright, I'm going to sit in here. I got to sit in here. Okay. Anyway. Um, again, I know I said it earlier in the week, but again, you guys, if you guys are here right now and hearing me say this, F for respect to you guys. Thank you guys so much for like, it's like, I feel like you guys are holding down the fort of Meat Wagon 22 while I'm out in the middle of nowhere fighting off bears with Neils for Can We Survive? It's, it's like a weight off my shoulders that you guys come here, enjoy the videos while I'm doing something else. Thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. Oh, got that out of the way. I mean it. I mean, it, seriously. Woo! Yay, Meathead Nation! Give yourself a thumbs up. Meathead Nation. Meathead Nation. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Awesome. I'm, I haven't started that week yet of the Can We Survive trip while you're watching this still. But it starts tomorrow, tomorrow for me. And I'm, I'm really excited. I, I was able to go out and, and adventure some brand new areas uh, that I haven't done before. And um, found some neat stuff. And I'm, I'm pretty pretty excited to go do that. Okay, so. Oh, you know what? We should be doing this outside right now. Well, before it gets nighttime. I can do that inside stuff at night. Is it day 20? Oh, I was going to say, is it day 21? Because I saw the... Um, the haze. All right, so we need to do 50 of these. And what did it say? Uh, builder class. Craft them, place them, upgrade them. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Wee! This is fun. I'm placing, placing blocks, dude. If these things keep giving me vending machines, oh, I'm gonna be so pissed. I did buy that bandit armor out of it, but still, there better be the one for the marksman or the guns. There better be some serious, serious firepower in there. Otherwise, someone's gonna get hurt. Yeah, someone's gonna get hurt bad. That's 50? I heard it. Where's my hammer? There it is. Now, does it count for that? Builder class. That's one. All right. So it's just a single upgrade. Whoa! This is super exciting. <laughs> uh, I told you guys, I really enjoy when games or mods um, add in quests, man. Because look, the idea of these types of games, open world, what I call, you know, what's called sandbox. And you're like, what's sandbox mean? It means that it's, it's an, you can do anything you want, right? You can just kill zombies, you can build, you can, there's all kinds of stuff. But in open world sandbox, after playing it for years, like I have, you're like, okay, same old thing. But then you add in quests. Just like Empyrean did. That was a game that added in quests that made you want to go in there and play it again. You know? And then that's how you... There's quests. Uh, like uh, the Fallout 4 series. You can add quests in as mods. 
and it makes like a whole nother part of the game. All right, there we go. We just did four of five. Five of five. Okay, this is the um, the builder class. So we're on builder class, that electrician. This one, now this is what we gotta do. We gotta craft an electric wire relay. Now, I don't know if I actually unlocked that electric wire relay. I guess I did. Okay, what time is it? 1824, so we got this. Ooh, it's cold out here. I better do this before I get infected. Healing. Let's do that, just in case. Give it a little bit of the what for. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, I have my forge. That's what you got to watch out. You got your forge on there. I got some more lead. Make some more bullets. Five, six minutes. Turn on. Craft 20 more. Don't mind if I do. Whoop. Okay, should have some goon powder. Goon powder. Goon powder. I'm still cold here. Do I have my... Where did I put my coat? Where did I put my coat? Where? Where? All right. No more chili time. Now, we got to make... I want to make the wire relay first. Electric wire relay, right? Craft. Now I'm going to stay in here so I don't end up with a second generator bank. My goodness. I think that's one of the things they need to fix. You should be able to craft it, then pull it out of here into your inventory, and then it counts. Did they say five? Was it five? I, I have a feeling it was more than that. Five. Of course it was more than that, meaty. It can't be that easy. A minute. You guys stick with me for a minute. Anyway, like I said, um, I, so I adventured. If you guys are interested, check this out. It took me about two hours to get there. And where this is at, it's about an hour south of the Grand Canyon. It's uh, west of Sedona and Flagstaff. It's called Kaibab National Forest. So there's there's like Prescott National Forest. There's Coquihino National Forest. There's Kaibab National Forest. There's a bunch of national forests all in that area. And this Kaibab one... It's at like 7,500 feet is where I was at. Big, tall ponderosa pines, big mountains, but big, real big meadowy areas. And there's a few lakes up there. So it's a real neat area, really neat. So hopefully we'll get to, we're going to go up there and do a, do a trip up there. But it took me about, because I had to take fire roads, fire access roads to get back in there. And it's funny, I thought it was a shortcut. And then when I got to a certain point, I found a paved road, so... That's a thing. All right, now we gotta place these, right? Bill electrician. Place. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Now is it gonna tell me to wire in between them? Craft a battery bank. Can you craft battery banks now? Because you couldn't before. Remember? Basket, battery. Battery bank. Crafted a workbench. I'm g I'm using I'm going to use end up using some of my scrap plastic out of this, but All right, so to get the battery bank, do you have to go to level 2? Wire tool electric relay. Speaker, spotlight, fluorescent light. Maybe it's its own thing. Battery bank. Not available. This perk will unlock recipe for electrical devices. This perk cannot be bought, but a schematic can be found. I've got to find a schematic for the battery bank. Is there a schematic in the game? Seven six two. Nineteen. Well, oh, they're real stingy on their old bullets, aren't they? Well, I don't know. I guess I'm concerned about that because I know before 
Um, I don't think you could build the battery bank before. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do I have any lights? Lights, lights, lights. No. We're going to go on an adventure, you guys. We're going to go find one of those places. And I'm going to get the rest of this stuff. All right. Now, what is it? It's almost nighttime. All right. Got a few bullets. Let's take a look at these quests. See where we're at. We got to do the plastic. So anything that's at five is the is the fragments that we need to find. Fragments, 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 fragments. This one. Yeah, I don't know about that one. So we'll, we'll work on this. Plastic. Let's go collect some plastic. Maybe we'll take off. It might not be a bad idea is to take off north. What's in this town? What is that? Do you, do you remember what building that was? Obviously, I went by it because look, it's it's showing it. I mean, I might as well ride because it's gonna be nighttime, and then we can go collect some plastic. Because I've kind of done everything in this town already. Not not everything, but I've really gone through it all. I'd like to get out of this fog. This fog is scary. If I could find another one of those um, convenience store style passing gas, then we'll be good. I'll get enough. So we're at 239. We get that one done. And then all we'll have left is that battery bank. So like I said, I'm not 100% sure if there is a schematic in the world for that. Look how slow this mini bike is, dude. Wait, where's my bandit armor? Does the, the jacket must cover up the bandit armor. Hmm. But I was cold. <laughs> I was cold. You don't get any scrap plastic from um I better make sure this is the right way. From the cars. What's that place? Don't blow up your mini bike. You know what happened to me last time I parked it on the side of a hill? Thing buried. There's something up here. Probably should have marked it. Oh, I shouldn't have topped off my bike like that. Jeez, some glitchiness going on on the bikes. Don't be water the whole way. It's gonna be water. It's probably gonna be water, isn't it? Uh, what is that? Oh, that's the rocket. That's the rocket. Wait. So whatever I've marked, I was... Oh, oh shoot. Piggies and uh, warthogs and wolves. I gotta cross. There's a... There's like a bridge. Not a bridge, you know. The little waterway up here. So whatever that is, that was that's over by the um, Stonehenge, right? That little... the th Whatever I marked is over by Stonehenge. It's probably just a little house. But it is off like how a trader could be. So that's what we're looking for. Yeah, that's got to be that... St it's not Stonehenge, because I went through that. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? So close, dudes, on the tradesman. 239, that red number up there is just, like, calling me. Matey, get some more plastic. Get some more plastic. I remember when they first introduced plastic in the game, I'm like, what is this? A bunch of garbage. Never kept it. Oh, it's this. It's a house. That's what... Uh, it's someone with the pool. What about your... What about the, um... You know what would scrap to plastic is the... The, uh... Igloos. I thought I just saw one of them. You know the blue coolers? Where do we see those? Those are all over the, um... The uh, derelict area, remember? They would have like the little the little building, and there would be a locker, and a locker and the uh, 
Yeah, the little coolers, the little like igloo Coleman type coolers, right? What does this do? Stamina, hydration, wellness. That's pretty good. All the juices are good. I, uh, I didn't really want the moss. You can keep your moss. Gold beer, huh? Changing room. That is, that right there is a plastic thing. It should give me plastic. A little scared in here, to be honest with you guys. It's pretty tight quarters. These are the changing rooms. What? Oh, I'm gonna go outside. I th I thought I oh I, I did see one. This. What do you think? Wrench. Seven plastic dudes. Oh, I was right. Oh, it's good to be right. There's another one right there. Challenge antibiotics. There's another one right here. Dude, this should do it for us. Dude, the blue coolers are totally made out of plastic. Ta -da! Yes, we got it. All right, five of five. Uh, we got to So we're at that point. Everything five 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 except for this one, which is the battery bank. Hmm. I might just set it on there just so, because that other one is kind of intrusive. You know how how much writing is on there. All right, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Now what we really need to do. So. Oh, that's right. This is the. This is Stonehenge here. sure what that is maybe maybe I should take off this direction out there because now we're looking we're looking for that store hopefully that sells those fragments because me, meeting meeting need fragments let's go let's do this where did my marker go where do I, where did I put my marker at that's the way oh my gosh I am totally turned around I remember on the stream I sat like right over right over here somewhere <laughs> for for like five minutes for like you know the whole night I just sat there. Oh there's Stonehenge. What up Stone? What up Hinge? What up Boom! All of a sudden there's there was mines there that I didn't see before. That would suck. That would suck. Okay, be careful. Water. Dang it, dude, it's too much water. Water on the right. I might have to look. Hmm. I might have to look in maybe some info on the mod to see how prevalent these other stores are. I don't know about them. People told me about them on the stream. That there's another store. And I need to go there. But I don't know, like I said, how... If there's... Remember when Traders first came out? There was only like one Trader for the whole map. Uh, I'm in a derelict area. I'm going to hit a mine... I'm gonna hit a mine. I'm gonna hit a mine, dude. I'm gonna hit a mine, aren't I? So if there's like 1% mines in this whole area, I find them. I find them. You know, I've always, I, I went after those crates like that, you guys. Forget them. There's something over here. Oh. Wait, we found a road. Is a town or the fog isn't helping? Housekeeping, housekeeping, one pillow. Oh, big lady. They're pretty excited, aren't they? All right, let's see if this is a town. <laughs> What? It's just that house? Or this house? These guys are lone. Are you lonely? Well, it looks like a Spanish style kind of terracotta tile roof. 
These have got to just be things on the outskirts, right? There's something over here. So, when you're looking at night when you can't see, it is weird, like, how things are shaped. I just came in from up here. I didn't see anything. This is a town with, like, weird houses just spread out. Right on the edge of a derelict area. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this town sucks. I don't like the towns that are just houses. They're good early on. See, you put a little ramp right there and you could use that house as a jump. I don't like the towns that are just houses. Boring. Oh, it's the whole football team, dude. Look. Did you guys see that? The cheerleaders. <laughs> Look, it's the cheerleaders in the football team. What the news? Blue 22. Blue 22. Hut, hut, hut. Look at him. Yeah, get on, catch up there, man. Gotta work on your sprint time. Look at these fools. Just causing havoc and carnage everywhere they go. We're late. It's a Friday night game. Look, they, they run so far. And then they stop. Are they gonna see me? I shot a cheerleader. <laughs> Dude, the whole football team back there. That... That was worth it right there alone. Dude, I gotta find I gotta find a place just to stop and wait out this night and the uh, the fog. Because I can't see anything. I could be driving by something that I want and I can't see it. So what I'm gonna do? Hopefully the football team doesn't catch up with me. I'm gonna chill out here and I'll catch up with you all in the next episode.